The first step of this fun DIY project is to do a quick mow of the grass where the sandpit will go with my cool electric mower. I'll then go through and cut the base frame members to size. I'm using 200 by 50 millimeter pine for the base frame and I'll clad it all with the reclaimed hardwood decking board to be a nice natural finish. The size of this sandpit will be 2.4 by 1.2 meters, which will be plenty of space for a couple kids to play in. I'll do all the cutting and pre-drilling here in the front courtyard. Once that's done, I can carry down all the timber members into the back garden where I can screw it together. I'm using three 100mm bugle screws in each corner that will hold the base frame securely together. Building a timber sandbox is a fun DIY woodworking project for anyone to have a crack at. It's just a box of sand in it. Kids love playing in the sand. My son is going to be super excited when he gets home to see it. I just need to move a few rocks out of the way and then drag the sandbox over to where it's going to live. I've planned to have a 250mm bench seat around the top of the sandbox. This will be a fun place for the boys to drive the trucks on. This bench seat's designed to work well for me to sit and play trucks on also. I cut the bench seat timbers to size and then take the arras off all the timber members as I'm trying to avoid getting any timber splinters. Next, all I have to do is carry the timber into place and screw it into position. I'm using a few bugle headed screws to attach the bench seat into place. Once all the timber seating timbers are screwed into place, I'll adjust the sandbox to be level. Now to finish the framing, I just need to cut three blocks for each side to add some extra support for the seating. Okay, now let's get this sandbox finished so we can get the trucks in there over Easter. I'm going to place a load of sand in the sandbox before it has the hardwood cladding installed. Filling up the sandbox with sand is the funnest part of the job. Everyone is excited to see some sand go into the box. When I say everyone, mainly my son, is super pumped to fill up the sandbox. The shape and size will allow a couple kids to play together. I'm going to now use some nice recycled hardwood to clad the frame so that no children are going to be in contact with the treated outdoor rated timber. I've got this stack of old decking boards I'm going to clean up and paint and then use to finish off the sandbox. Due to the old decking boards being stacked in the weather for a while, they're going to need a good clean. I'm going to give the boards all a good hose down, scrub them with sugar soap and let them dry out before I paint them. I would usually leave the hardwood timber look when reusing old hardwood. I like the recycled texture of Australian hardwood. But as this timber has already been painted before, I've decided to apply a couple coats of white paint to freshen up the finish. Now that all the reclaimed hardwood decking is prepared, it's time to attach it to the sandbox. I'll get all the trucks out of the sand and then do a quick clean up. I'm going to screw the decking onto the bench seat using a herringbone pattern. This pattern is simple to install and looks really nice. To install the herringbone pattern, all you have to do is cut the external pieces of timber to size, give the ends a light sand and then butt them together. I understand that it's going to be quite a bit of extra work to add this reclaimed hardwood to the sandbox. But I think it's worth it as it's going to be here for years and we spend quite a lot of time in this part of the garden. This sandbox can also be renovated into a garden bed once the kids outgrow it. To finish the hardwood bench seat, I screw the reclaimed timber boards onto the top of the bench. I'm using 50mm stainless steel screws that I pre-drilled before to avoid any splitting. To achieve the herringbone pattern on the external corners of the bench seat, all I do is install the outside boards first, butting them together and leaving a 3mm gap for expansion. I follow the same process towards the inside of the sandbox. This will finish the corners of the bench seat with a nice herringbone pattern that is really simple and looks pretty neat. Now it's just a matter of repeating the process until all the decking boards are screwed on. Once all the boards are screwed into place on top of the bench seat, I'll install a decking board around the outside perimeter of the sandbox. The external board will finish flush with the top of the bench seat, allowing a bit of extra width to the seat and also make the sandbox look nice. I'll then go through and line the inside of the sandbox with decking boards and give a final coat of paint to finish off the project for the weekend. Okay, so there we have it. Another fun DIY project finished. The sandbox looks great and my son is super excited to try it out. This project has made someone very happy and he's going to return me thousands of dollars into the future on free childcare. Well, I could always dream. Thanks for watching.
like this.